Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your June 2018 reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We will just see whatever comes up and go with that. This is for the sign of Capricorn. want you to use your intuition, take what resonates, leave the rest. Something is happening. There is some momentum here. You could be receiving some messages. Um, they could be coming quickly. You, there could be some rapid communication or there's just some fast moving energy. Something like that. But... You know, sometimes when things move too fast, they could be unrealistic, okay? So just keep that in mind. If something is moving too fast, you may want to take a step back if you can, if you have time, you know, try to try to fit in a moment to just, is this realistic? You know, ask yourself, is this realistic? Is it? You know, maybe somebody is looking for a commitment. Maybe there was a commitment. Maybe you got into a commitment too quickly. Um, either way, there is a feeling of discontent and dissatisfaction. Okay, you could be receiving some messages or some communication that makes you feel unhappy about a current situation. Okay, so just keep that in mind. It's like there's an emotional disappointment here. So Capricorn, you're definitely going through something, okay, in June. Um, maybe somebody's giving up, you know, they're giving up on a commitment or they have given up, you know, they've, there's definitely a feeling of loss here. There's a, there's, I, I'm lost, I feel lost, you know, um, so there's some emotional turmoil. And this could have to do with your children or... Um, somebody from your past, okay? You know, this. you have to make a decision. Isn't that always the case? I feel like right now you are at a crossroads. You have to make some sort of difficult decision. It's painful. There's a painful decision that needs to be made. And there's fears surrounding this decision. Um, I feel like you know that something is unrealistic. Um, but you may not want to accept that because this is somebody who doesn't, this is a, I don't want to accept this unrealistic situation. You know, even though I know it's unrealistic, I don't want to believe that it's unrealistic. It's like somebody has blocked the truth. They've blocked their emotions here, but you can't, it, something is happening where you may not be able to block it forever. Okay. Something is definitely happening and um, you could be dealing with somebody who has hidden agendas and you knew they had hidden agendas. Somebody has been keeping secrets from you. And I think that you know that. I think that your intuition has been telling you that something is up and something truly is up or it, ha or it was up. And I feel like there is, you know, you may receive some sort of new opportunity and now that's why you have to make this decision. You probably have received a new opportunity, Capricorn. You know, and you probably, maybe there's even a new suitor, a new person that has entered your life. And it's exciting. And there's a spark. But you are still connected to somebody else in the past that is holding you back. You're afraid, perhaps, to let this exciting suitor into your life because maybe they're trying to move too fast. That could certainly be the case. And you've been burned You've been burned. Maybe somebody, you know, has taken your money. You've invested in commitment before. And you were, they, whoever you were with before had hidden agendas. So why wouldn't this person have hidden agendas? So it feels like right now you're trying to contemplate. Do you want to be single or do you want to let somebody in? You know, I feel like you're really enjoying your singlehood at this time. You're enjoying life. You're doing quite well. But... And I feel like whoever this new suitor is that is on the horizon or in your life or something like that um, is really bringing up these feelings within you, these feelings of fear, you know, of, oh my God, I'm going to have to open my heart here. And I think that you are guarding your heart, Capricorn. 
So I feel like there is a new opportunity for love here. But you have these fears. You may be stalling. You may feel like you don't have much fight left. You've been used and abused, okay? So you're stalling. You're stalling this person. That's what I see. But anyway, I'm going to fix this right up for you as best I can. Now, this is for June 2018. You may be thinking, you know, I'm better off by myself. I am. I'm better off focusing on me, my job, my finances, my home, my work, everything but love at this time. But the fact of the matter is, is when it's time for love, it's time for love. Okay? When it is time for love to come into your life, it's time for love. And I feel like there is a new opportunity for love here, Capricorn. And I feel like it's really, you may be um, dating right now and not thinking that this was going to lead to love. Maybe you thought you were just going to go out and have some fun and now things are getting heavy. Okay, maybe this person is moving a little bit too quickly for you. You have a lot in common with this person. And there's this person is like, this person could uh, be offering you love, you know, romance. And you're probably like, oh my God, you're naive. You don't even know. You, you're feeling like this is unrealistic. You don't even know. We don't even know each other. That kind of thing. It's somebody, either it's you or the other person. Somebody is moving very quickly and in somebody is moving in to your life very quickly and it looks like you're trying to stall you're not ready i'm not quite ready i'm not sure that i can i can let my guard down you're very very guarded very guarded and a lot of this has to do with money i think that you invested your money into somebody in the past and they had hidden agendas and now you're afraid that the past is going to repeat itself. So I feel as though this is a month of, there's a new opportunity. There's a new opportunity for love this month in June. If you would, I mean, if you're willing to let your guard down. But I see that your guard is up. Definitely guarded with these two cards. You're guarded. You're guarded against love for fear that somebody is going to... You know, that you're going to waste your money on them. You're going to waste your time. They're going to waste your money. They're just, they're full of shit, you know. So I feel like, yeah, you're worried about your money. You're worried about that. What, 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 why are they in this? Why are they coming after me? Why are they interested in me? It feels like, what kind of baggage do they have? You know, you're trying to come up with this. What the hell is going on here? Because now there's emotions involved. I think that there may have been some dating. There may have, you may have went out and had some fun. And now emotions are involved. And it feels like, you know, there could be some smothering going on. Maybe you're, maybe, you know, it can go either way. Maybe you're smothering them. They're smothering you. But it feels like somebody, there is, it's, it's a little bit too much. It's too much. It's causing some... Um, emotional turmoil whoever this person is that's in your life that is offering you some kind of new beginning a new beginning in love it looks like it could be career but anyway there's a new beginning here being offered but you're like ho 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 this is this is um what what do you bring with you to the table and it feels like you're really worried about what kind of burdens this person is going to bring you know, and you may you may see them as a burden right now already, right from the get go, because they're kind of uh, they're too much. I think they're whatever this is. Yeah, it's like oh, ten of swords reversed with the ten of uh, pe uh, pentacles upright and the ten of wands upright. So ten, ten, ten. So you're really worried about your money Capricorn you're worried about your home you're worried about what this person's intentions are what are their motives you know and you kind of like your freedom it's like oh my god I'm gonna have to give up my freedom and, and my money perhaps you know I think that this is a really scary month for you I do I think that you're really worried you're really worried about your own stability your own security um, your own self because now there's an opportunity for love and this person is probably coming in pretty hot and heavy. And you guys probably have a few things in common, okay? It looks like you guys may, um, you may have a, a mutual attraction with each other. 
and it feels like right now you're just trying to observe the situation you're trying to step back and observe is this real is what's the motive what's going on here um is this person lying is this person all talk so i think this that you're really trying to observe what whoever this person is you know trying to figure this all out but I feel like this could lead to something stable and secure if you would let your guard down. But your guard is up. Up, up, up. And you kind of like your freedom, right? I kind of like my freedom. I like my independence. I'm doing quite well. But, you know, I do have needs. And I kind of want to be with somebody. And it feels like, you know, that's why you've been out dating. Because you want to be with somebody. But you have these fears of the past repeating itself. So I feel like... This month of June, there is an opportunity for love should you be able to let your guard down and let this person in and allow growth to happen. But I'm not sure that you will. Um, yeah, It's not, you know, isn't it time to be happy, Capricorn? Don't you want to be happy? Is money your happiness or is love your happiness? I feel like... You know, it's not about anything but love, right? I mean, that's the question here. Is it love or money? Okay. Love or money? Love or money? The Ace of Pentacles reversed with the Ace of Cups upright. Make sure you're choosing your path wisely. I mean, do you want to grow old alone? Do you want to live alone forever? Can you take any of that shit with you when you die? I mean, I think there's an opportunity for love here with someone if you're willing to let go of your your independence and let your guard down and not worry about the money and i'm sorry but i think that's what this is yeah there's an opportunity for love capricorn and june and it could be true love but i feel like you feel like this is immature love this person is immature they don't know what they're talking about they, they you know you, they're moving too fast. They gotta have something up their sleeve. What's going on here? And I feel like those are all your own inner fears. It, you know, it's all your own inner fears. This person thinks that you are wonderful. They do. This person thinks that you are absolutely it. The problem is you don't. There's potential for victory and success with this new love. It's time to be happy. There's no need to let your mind's power struggles hold you back. Because that's what this is. I feel like, so Capricorn, there's an opportunity for love that could happen suddenly. could happen very quickly. And you just are blown away by it. And now you have to either give up your independence or not. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I believe that you're going to be receiving some love, some kind of offers from somebody. And you're you're pretty scared. You're pretty scared about what they what the story is. How are they gonna hurt you? What are they gonna do? Blah 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 blah. Fact of the matter is this could lead to victory and success. It could. It could lead to something stable and secure. It could, with this Ten of Pentacles, it could lead to a happy, happy home together. And happiness. The Five of Swords refers to is happiness. It's about being happy. Not needing to, to have your guard up. Blah, blah, blah. And you're clinging to the past. Whatever happened in the past, let that shit go. There's a new opportunity for love here. Let your guard down. Let this person in. Give them a chance. Seek, seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. You are definitely seeking. There's no doubt about it. Remember when I said observing? You are seeking. You're seeking the answers, the truth, and it's scaring you. Anyway, the power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy, and every single thing in your spiritual world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit 
and always will be connected to one, one another. Your past, you're still, yeah, you're, you will still be connected to it. But it doesn't mean that you have to let it hold you back. It was something that you had to go through to get, to build your character, to get you to where you are today. But it doesn't mean that this next person is out to get you. I don't think that they are. So anyway, this is what I have. Talk to you later.